Hello everyone. So today we are trying to interface this uh, ABB AC500 PLC with uh, Siemens uh, ET200M station, a Profibus IO slave. So basically the target is to uh, show you how to install the GST files and uh, how to configure a third party Profibus slave system to the ABB uh, Profibus system. So basically, uh, I have the setup ready. So I have a PM573 uh, PLC and I have a IO module with that. This we already covered up in the last segment. So right now I'll show you how to configure the Profibus master and uh, the third party slave to the Profibus system. So first let me add the Profibus master. So I have, uh, I already have this uh, cm 572 dp This is my Profibus master. So I'll add that. And basically it, the station address will be one. Uh, this is the Profibus address. And uh, the next thing is to uh, add the Profibus slaves. So as you can see, when you install the software, uh, ABB already by default has uh, so many Profibus slaves available. And you can see I don't have this 8200M station over here. So 8200M station basically it's from Siemens. So we it's a third party compared uh, compared to ABP. So first we have to install the third party GST file uh, to the software. To do that, you need to download the GST file from the Siemens website. Or let's say you are trying to interface a Profibus slave encoder. Uh, you need to go to their website and download the GST file. So anyway, I downloaded the GST file for 8200 amp station. Uh, so I'll install it. To install it, you need to go to the device repository option. Here, you have the option called install. Just go to here. I, this is my GST file. So I can just select any one of this and click open. That's it. It's the it's already installed. So to check that, you can you can check here. So right now we have installed a Profibus device. So go to Profibus. And it's a slave. And you can, yeah, see, you have the 8200 amp station here. So I can install it here. Add object 8200 amp station. Okay. First thing, you need to configure the uh, IO address. So uh, that uh, you can check whatever uh, you can set whatever address uh, on the device for me I have set the address as 5 so let me save it 5 okay then uh, I have I have a 32 uh, input DI module attached to that so I will add that yeah 32 input okay so now my hardware configuration is ready. Now I I config I have added some uh, hardware DIs. I, I mean, I already connected some 24 volt DIs to the inputs. So once we download everything and if everything is okay, I can see this uh, DI in this. So let me go here. Let me download the program. Okay, let's download. Okay, I'll put it to run mode. Now what we can do is, we can go here. You have an option called login. Click login. Uh, this is my PLC address. So click OK. Now the PLC will try to log in. Yes, we are logged in. And you can see my first, you can, what you can do is you can go to CM572TP. 
Profibus and you can see for diagnostics uh, of Profibus. Here you can see the best diagnosis, sorry, station diagnosis. So as you can see, the five, uh, whatever we configured is uh, already on the network. If it is not there, if the if your address is wrong or something wrong with your profibus, this will be glowing red. So five means it's a warning, but still we have the station uh, accessible. So you can go to here, and you can see in TP. See, I have some inputs coming. Yeah, this input input five so i had two inputs already coming so or if i want to configure this input to my program i'll show you that uh, we will log out here and we'll close this and i guess uh, it was input four so let me configure this i'll set the address uh, like input one and what I will do is I have to take this uh, to the program so if uh, if, if you created one input here this input comes to the program over here like a global variable what you can do is you can go here and you can click on uh, global variables here you can see your hardware cm 72 dp your profibus master your profibus slave and the 32 dig digital input module so you see this is the input i configured so let's log in again see the input is true so if you want this uh, input in my program i can just uh, create a program let's say uh, let's make a variable called uh, test okay so i took the input to the program so you can write whatever program you like with this input and uh, this is how uh, basically we cover up uh, so what we learned today is how to make a profibus master how to install a third party profibus uh, slave and how to configure this is a, just an example you can configure any slaves as you like so for me, I, I got this uh, Siemens CT200M, so I just took this as an example. And uh, we also learned how we can define a variable here and how to take it to the program and how to configure in the program. That's it. So I hope uh, this was good. Okay, thank you.